I'm uh, Seth Roberts. Um, I'm from Houston, Texas, USA. Um, I'm a physician back in my life. It, I'm a, a radiologist. So I read x-rays and CAT scans and MRIs and ultrasounds and things like that and uh, do some surgeries. And um, uh, I, came, uh, I came because I heard about ayahuasca kind of on the internet. And as soon as I did, I knew that I had to come and seek it out and experience it. I don't know why it felt that way to me, but it was as natural and as compelling as anything I've ever felt. So in fact, uh, I made arrangements to get to Peru about as quickly as I could. I was coming, I think, um, for a couple of reasons, some of which I didn't understand when I decided I was coming, but um, in retrospect feel very clear to me. I had a couple of key issues I'd been working on, emotional issues for 10 or 12 years that I'd made some real progress, progress in, but I felt, I felt a little stuck with. I thought, okay, that's something I can bring to, um, to, to look into and to discover what uh, underneath it. And uh, I had also um, some things in front of me in my life that are coming up that I've been finding very challenging to think about how I'm going to respond to. And I thought I'll come and sort that out too. So when the changes come my way, I'll uh, be very, very much at peace and ready for them. There was also um, a growing sense of curiosity about my place in the universe and the nature of consciousness and reality, uh, perceptions of time and matter. I've been doing a lot of exploring about uh, those issues and felt like ayahuasca and the experience of it would maybe help understand a little better about those things. It was almost like a scientific interest uh, to see. Um, uh, I thought I'd learned something about the way I see the world versus the way the world really might be. So yeah, those were my, my very easy ambitions in coming. Yeah. Uh, what I found, however, was uh, much less, <laughs> much less uh, small than my ambitions. And um, we did seven ceremonies. Uh, my very first ceremony, I had my list of things I was wanting to work with, and they were all done in the first hour of the first ceremony. It was um, just mind-blowing and perfect. It was beautiful. And then after that, um, just such beauty and connection and uh, vibration that happens in the ceremonies. I was just overwhelmed with it, and my sense of belonging. and. Uh, with each successive um, uh, ceremony, I gained more and more insight about the real nature of my reality and myself and of the universe and my place in it and the connectedness of all things and the infinite scope of time and that I just learned patience and expectation and understanding and uh, it, that it's all coming as exactly as it should. I, it's such a peaceful feeling. <laughs> it is such a peaceful feeling to know that everything is as it should be. I came to, uh, I came to the temple uh, a scientific materialist, meaning um, I thought that consciousness is the sum total of all of our neural connections and synapses and that it's really a physical manifestation of a chemical process and you know my deep appreciation understanding of evolution of kind of uh, of astronomy uh, it's all it was all very very scientific and um, I wouldn't call myself a spiritual person I feel connected to people and I feel like the root of it has always been a deep sense of understanding that we're all here together, but uh, I would say I was an atheist. 
if that's it's hard to say now because um, <laughs> I'm not ashamed of it it's part of my journey but after my first session I realized that uh, there's infinity that we're all a part of it and that consciousness and spirit they exist they've always existed in time from beginning to end that I've got a new understanding of uh, place in the universe I was afraid of dying when I came here and uh, now I understand so much more about about the path that we're all taking and the beauty of it it's no there's no residual there for me <laughs> like I'm just so grateful if you're it's hard to put into words the profound change that's happened in me from this gift this is powerful medicine it's powerful medicine and it vibrates on uh, levels that are not just spiritual and intellectual. I mean, I could feel the Icaros, these beautiful songs in the middle of ceremony, just moving through my body. I could feel the maestros coming as they moved around the circle toward me. My internal vibration I mean, it's the only word I can use. I'm not the guy who ever used words like this before, ever. This is not, I was, you know, whatever you're thinking about what you're seeing, I mean, now this, that's not the guy I was. So, you know, I didn't come here with these, this terminology in place, but it was vibration. I could feel it reverberating through me. And as they passed and went, I could feel it still lingering. And it lingers still. I. Once, once, once it's heard, it's just not forgotten, and uh, that's I'm so grateful for that. Reconnected to nature and the rhythms of the day and of of the earth, you know. It's real hard to um, live a life uh, in uh, regular life, regular day-to-day -day society, and still feel connected. It's important to try, but. Over years, I, I got less and less, um, less and less of that sustenance, and uh, being here really has reconnected me with, with that, uh, that understanding. You know, when the sun comes up, I my body wake, wakes, happily and beautifully, and there's a rhythm to the day here. Uh, there's a naturalness to the way life is lived. There's a clear cycle of giving and taking you know with the sustainable growth and the, the uh, importance on uh, the stress on um, ecologic maintenance and 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 even even uh, encouragement and uh, the food and the the bathing and the swimming and the quiet time it's just how we're supposed to be I get it I get it now. This is what life is supposed to have been. It's always been this way. And there's a reason, there's a peace that comes from it because we're supposed to be like this. I've done some filtering of what's happened here through my medical training and uh, come up with some interesting perspectives, small ones, um, about the way the medicine works. And I can say that uh, what I do understand about it falls very short of explaining what's happened. Um, I can also say that uh, there is uh, there is a powerful medicine here. There is definitely a healing, and it's so beautiful because it's different. In the West, the medicine that we use is always it's always patching holes. It's always fixing problems after they've happened. I mean, there is a movement and there is a lot of groundswell about trying to prevent disease, but there is this understanding of simple cause and effect in the West. In fact, it's almost a requirement that there's simple cause and effect. And the medicine here, and it is medicine, there's no doubt in my mind. There is no doubt in my mind that it is medicine. The medicine here, it looks deeper and it looks more into the underlying causes of these illnesses. And it feels like it's a fortification, a protection against the diseases that in the West we try to fix after the fact. 
so it really solidifies, you know, uh, the uh, uh, understanding that um, that medicine medicine is not one thing. Medicine is uh, uh, there's a there's a beautiful possibility of combining the best of both worlds, uh, Western medicine and this traditional uh, Amazonian medicine. And I'm very eager to start uh, learning about ways that can happen. Um, but I can say I've never felt as healthy. I've never felt as vibrant. I'm a healthy person. I'm, I eat healthily, I exercise, I, I avoid toxic things in my life. I sleep, I have loving relationships. All the things you're supposed to do, I've never felt as healthy. Uh, there's a recharging that happens and uh, yeah, for that I'm grateful. This, this is important. Uh, this is important to hold on to. We need to. Everyone can benefit. Doesn't matter how healthy you are when you arrive. You're going to leave feeling better than you've ever felt. Uh, the temple of the way of light is a return home. That's what it's been for me. It's a remembrance. It's a a powerful reminder of our potential and of our source. And. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a beautiful, welcoming, nurturing place.